I think you guys know what time it is. So this is going to be my first Halloween video on this channel for, or on this channel. <laughs> No, it's not. First Halloween video of the year. I'm very excited. Uh, it's obviously my favorite time of year, kind of. Second favorite time of year. But it's my favorite holiday. Halloween, obviously. I did a poll over on Twitter asking if I should do a Halloween decor haul now or this week. Or if I should wait and post it later. So for those 8% of you that said it's too soon for Halloween stuff, uh, you can always not watch this video or just save it until later in the month or next month, whenever's appropriate for you and your Halloween feelings, whatever you feel like doing. But I've been accumulating some new decor here and there. Some of it's thrifted, some of it's new, um, some of it's from online. It, I've just gone everywhere. One thing that I don't have in this haul, however, is Michael's. Michael's always has my favorite Halloween decor, but it's not on sale yet, so I didn't buy any of it. So maybe there will be a part two in October at some point for the Michaels things, but this is all non-Michaels Halloween decor. Um, so I just don't, I don't wanna ramble on too much. Let's just get right into it. First thing is a home decor item that's up year round uh, that I purchased that's not Halloween related, but I am going to be using it for Halloween. <laughs> it's this lantern from Ikea. The candle I think is also from Ikea. Although I've been thrifting pillar candles as you'll see in this haul. Um, but yeah, so I just got this black lantern. I thought it would be cute as a centerpiece on my uh, dining table once I do my whole spread. Let me know if you want a whole video uh, just like called decorating my apartment for Halloween, um, decorate with me for Halloween, whatever. Because I think that would be a fun little extra bonus video. It'd probably, probably be super casual, filmed kind of vlog style with some montages here and there of me decorating because I'm not going to actually be decorating formally, formally decorating until the middle of September. So let me know if you want that video. Anyway, centerpiece for the kitchen table. I think it can obviously go anywhere else in the house. This is something that I really want to leave up year round because it's so freaking cute. I got it on Amazon. Anything that I bought online, I will link down below. I got this pillowcase. Um, the pillow insert is actually from a pillow I already had laying around. Um, I just switched out the case and I love this. My theme this year is a little bit more cozy. I have some like fuzzy things, um, a lot of browns and woods that you'll see in this video because I just want to keep it like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what that vibe is for Halloween, but it just kind of goes with like the furniture and everything else that we already have in our apartment. So I'm just going with like those things, very warm things, very warm tones, you know me. But yeah, this is just like a burlap linen. I don't even know what this texture is. Um, but this is going to be going on our couch. Actually, I've already put it on our couch, even though I'm not decorating it. I just put the cover on and I wanted to see what it looked like. And it looks amazing because our couch is brown. So it looks very good. Now we're going to get into <laughs> this giant box. Oh my God, it's so heavy. Uh, I don't know where to begin. Okay, so this is something I got at Hobby Lobby. Um, they don't really do Halloween things. Uh, they just do like fall seasonal things, but they had this really cool wood pumpkin. So a little display that I created next to our TV on our TV stand is this wood pumpkin with this burlap pumpkin. And I think they look really good together. You see my vibes for this year. It's like warm, you know, homey, but still spooky. I have some spooky things that I'm going to like DIY and stuff. But it's just mixing like cozy elements with spooky elements. I don't really know. I have yet to get all of my Halloween decor out of storage though. So that's going to be the big thing. I have like three full boxes of Halloween decor in storage. So I didn't really need more decor, but I'm very excited because obviously we just moved into this place in December. And so I didn't get to decorate last year. For Halloween. I did decorate a little bit at my parents house where I was staying at the time um, but it wasn't like full-blown so here I'm going to be going all out everything's gonna be covered in Halloween stuff so I'm very excited <laughs> anyway I got three of these little pumpkins there's more in this box somewhere I picked up three of these these are from Dollar Tree so they're just a dollar they have other colors I think like an orangey one um, or like a more orangey one, but I wanted to get the brown ones. This little pumpkin I got at Marshall's. I obviously love the fuzzy uh, fabric velvet texture and it's like an orangey color. I just think this is going to add some warmth to my Halloween decor. It was $5.99. Like I said, I've been thrifting pillar candles. Again, these aren't really, you know, Halloween decor like 
in the literal sense, but I will be doing kind of like a display, I think. I'm going to try to do something with pillar candles around. This one's actually electric, I found at Goodwill, and it still works, so that's exciting. But these are like $2, a dollar. Uh, you can easily find pillar candles at Goodwill, so you just gotta hunt a little bit. I say easily. I usually find one per thrift store, so like if you're trying to collect a couple to have a display, you'll need to go to a couple. This video is all over the place, by the way, because I have multiple stores going on and it's not really that organized. Um, but yeah, so I got more fuzzy pumpkins. These are black fuzzies with like the same kind of stick, but these are actually from the 99 cents store. I picked up two of them actually, so I'm thinking these will go in the centerpiece area of my dining table as well, uh, with like the lantern, some other pumpkins maybe, some light things. I'll show you some other things I'm thinking for the table, and also some pillar candles or just some candle things going on. I picked up this garland also from Marshalls. This is a little bit pricier, but I really liked the fuzzy you know, coziness of the texture of the garland. I don't know. It's six feet. It looks like it only has five little decor things, but they're probably like spaced out. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure where I'm gonna hang this yet, but obviously I'll find a spot for it. It was $14.99 though, which is really pricey. Like how it says rustic on it, the back. Like that's, this is a rustic Halloween decor. <laughs> I picked up these two items separately at 99 cent store. This cloche, the top comes off. It's actually plastic, which you could probably tell it's plastic, but I think as a whole spread, it'll look good. It'll, it'll look realistic enough. And then the skull is just a plastic gold skull. Um, again, I wanted to bring in like the warm elements, so I thought gold would be the best choice instead of like silver or the other colors that they have. But yeah, two bucks for this little thing. I'm really excited about it. Another warm, cozy, fuzzy pumpkin. <laughs> Where did I get this? I think this is Home Goods, Marshalls, one of those stores. I took the price tag off, so I don't know how much it was. Probably in the six dollar range, I want to say. So that is a loud plane. Oh my god. The shadow it just cast on the building in front of me. How low was that? Oh my god, that's so scary. Anyway, obviously lots of fuzzy pumpkins, lots of texture going on in my Halloween decor. Every time I bring home a pumpkin, Ryan's like, really another pumpkin? I can't help it when I see pumpkins out and about. Um, they're like the easiest things to buy and the easiest things to make a little space look Halloween-y. But I think I'm done with the pumpkins. I think I'm done buying them. Anyway, let's continue. I picked up these two bottles. They're actually glass. Okay, why are things moving in my room right now? This is weird. They're actually real glass, which is nice. They're not super cheap looking. Um, it just has little labels. They do light up, so I thought that was cute. Again, to have like on a spread um, for the center of my dining table, I think would be really pretty. Something that's a little bit boring, I picked up a set of 12 LED candles, but they are spooky looking. They have like the this like drip effect going on and they flicker So I'm thinking I'll just put these places where I can't really have real candles and just you know Around my apartment to give it that spooky like cozy vibe and these are from Amazon I will link it down below next I found this thing which I'm sure is not really a cloche But I'm gonna use it as a cloche. It was 99 cents at Goodwill um, I love finding these kind of things because it's just weird. I actually have like this thing in mind which is going to be very disturbing I think for most people but I have an idea of what I'm going to use this for um, again on the table as a spread. I've never had a dining table can you tell? I've never been able to decorate a dining table so I'm very excited to decorate all the surfaces in my home, but especially my dining table. That's where everything I've said in this video is like, all of this is going on the dining table. To add another thing that's going on the dining table, Spirit Halloween is now open. I went September 1st. Um, I don't know what the official day that it was open on, but I went as soon as I could. I got a table runner. It's really, really beautiful. It has like moon, sun, it's like lace. I think it will be too long for our table, but I don't mind if it like hangs off a little bit. I could also fold it in the middle so you can't really see and then put other things around it. It was only $7.99, which I think is a pretty good deal for Spirit, let alone 
a table thing, like a table cover. I don't know. The only other thing that I bought from Spirit is a Ouija candle. I love this candle so much. Super expensive for what it is. Well, I guess it's not that expensive. It's $9.99. Um, I know some people are weirded out by Ouija things in their home. I personally don't believe in any of that, so I think I'm good. Um, but I do get hate every time I have my Ouija board decor item up or like something like this. I'm sure people will have comments to get it out of my house. Um, but I don't believe in it. I think it's a game. So yeah, <laughs> but it's still spooky looking and cute. Again, it's like this orangey color. So it'll go with everything else that I've bought to make everything seem like warm. We're going back to home goods now. They have these vintage looking books. This is the smallest one. They had some larger ones. It's actually a storage case, which I love. I got the one with the little owls on it. It was $7.99, but I think it is so cute. I love vintage looking Halloween decor. I actually want to go to my local antique store because last year they had vintage Halloween decor and I didn't end up buying anything, but I think I want to go back and see what they have because I just, I love the look of it. And then I'm also going to be doing a Halloween bar cart theme because I have a bar cart, as you guys know, and it's still kind of in the works but I thought it's the season so why don't I make it all Halloween-y with like beakers and labels and like spooky bottles and things like that um so I found this for my bar cart I don't know how much it was I think it was like, like $12.99 it's kind of pricey but it is solid wood you could probably use this as a weapon this magic potion on it with like a gold top I love this again wood elements I love the warm elements um rustic whatever. So yeah, I'm really excited to decorate my bar cart. Uh, yeah, if you want that video of me decorating my apartment, you'll see me decorate my bar cart. If you don't want that video, I could always just do Halloween decor, like showing how I decorated my apartment, like a t house tour, but Halloween time. But I'm not decorating every single room. I'm not decorating the bedroom, <laughs> this room. Although I might do a little background for you guys because I feel like my videos need to have some kind of Halloween vibes besides just like me. So I think I'll do like a banner like I did last year and like some stuff around. Um, but generally, bedroom's not going to be very Halloween-y. My favorite thing that I'm doing this year for decor, um, I have a fireplace. It's a working wood burning fireplace and I love it. Um, so <laughs> I'm going to be putting a burned skeleton in it. Every time I tell that to someone, they're like, oh, that's morbid. But I'm like, it's obviously fake. Um, I did splurge a little on the skeleton to get it to look like it was burned. I probably could have DIY'd it, but it's paper mache to look like a burned skeleton. Um, I think it's really cool. I'm going to put some of the flameless candles in the fireplace with the skeleton body parts. Um, and it's gonna look like we have a burned body in our skeleton, in our, in our skeleton, in our fireplace. We obviously won't be using it during that time anyway. It's still pretty hot in Northern California. Uh, we only use the fireplace when it's like really cold in the winter. But I just love this. Like it was so worth the money. Obviously you could DIY this so easily on your own, but it's perfect. I think it's going to look super creepy. See, adding some spooky, disturbing elements um, along with everything else. So I found this bag of spiders at a thrift store, which is so random because I have been hunting for that, like a bag of spiders or just like small little spiders like this for so long, but they're always so expensive. Is it just me? So this was like 50 cents at the thrift store. Um, and what I'm going to do is make it, I've seen this DIY. I'll put a picture, I think if I can find it. Um, not really a DIY, but it's a decor idea where you put spiders coming out of your vent on the ceiling. And I think it looks really creepy. So that's my plan with the spiders. So I'm really happy that I found these. Again, adding a couple spooky elements, creepy elements to my house, not just cutesy decor. Uh, yesterday I actually went to Target to the dollar spot to scope out their Halloween decor. It's not the greatest. I only went to one Target. Not the greatest in the dollar spot, but I did find this pumpkin, which was $3. You're actually supposed to like customize it for fall, but I like it just like this. So I think I'm just going to prop this up on, I don't know what, my bar cart maybe. Not really sure, but I think it's really cute. Again, wood elements tying everything together. I think it's going to be really pretty. And the last thing for this video is again, something that I will use year round, not just during Halloween time. This cat mug. I am obsessed with it. Obviously, I love cats. You guys know that. It says, I don't really like the inside though. It says, I'm silently judging you on the inside. 
Not really a fan of that, but the outside is so freaking cute. It was only $2.99 at Marshalls. I did go back to pick up another one for my friend and they were sold out. So I don't know if these are still around at your local Marshalls, but check it out. So that's my Halloween decor haul. I'm pretty much almost done. Um, I need to do inventory on what I have in my storage right now to like see if there's anything else that I need because I do have a lot in storage. But I really like the new pieces that I picked up to have like cozy warm wood rustic elements I think that's really more my vibe and to I don't know I don't know I'm really excited about it let me know if you want those videos of like decorating actually decorating for Halloween and doing like a mini tour of my decor where I'm going to be putting it um but yeah hopefully this video wasn't too soon for most of you and you guys enjoyed this Halloween spookiness I like starting early obviously I need to start early because October is my busiest month so I will start filming tutorials really soon. If you want to start guessing down below what tutorials I'm going to be doing this year, I'd love to see what you guys come up with. Um, maybe it'll give me some extra ideas in case I don't have enough, but I think I'm good. I'm very excited for this year's tutorials. Two of them are part of a series that I've done in the past, so that's a little hint for you guys. But for now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your favorite piece that I got down below, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!